environmental restrictions, labor laws, tax brackets or tax breaks, country security laws. So we'll talk this one by one in our next uh, slide. So just remember, remember that government policy can alter the scenario of international trade flows. The last one is exchange rates. So everything is fine, nothing happened. Everything is cool, but what happened when you receive the money because the US will receive money, the US investor will receive money in dollars but Chinese investor will pay because their home currency is Yuan. So it means there would gonna be a market here. We call this Forex. And what happened if you expect that, okay, if I, you know, normally it takes 30 to 45 days to transfer goods, right? So, and you expect that, okay, money is, is gonna to come to our accounts after 40 days or 15 days or whatsoever. So there's a risk involved here in Forex. What happened if Chinese Yuan decreases or Chinese Yuan appreciated, right? So you, he sends 1 million Yuan here and you receive, you are expected to receive 500,000. But due to this Forex market, you receive 450,000 instead of 500,000. But Chinese will say that, look, I have sent the same 1 million yuan. That's it. So it means if exchange rates are not in your favorable, then you will receive less of your own currency. Right? So this also causes international, uh, international trade flows to increase or decrease. If you expect that the yuan is going to be decreased, maybe that trade is not profitable for you, right? So that's why they say, that, okay, whatsoever I will be receiving in dollars, I want to receive in yuan. Whatsoever in the market, you have to sell me, you have to send me $500,000 uh, $500, in my account, that's it. Then that risk is for the importer, so he has to manage. But still, if he sees that, okay, our yuan is decreasing, then I have to pay more yuan to acquire the dollar and my cost start rising. So I'm just canceling the order. Right? Any question up till now? EGA? All clear? Yeah. TD? All clear? Yes. Oliver? Yeah. Lancelot. Yes, sir. Sufyan. Yes, sir, it's all clear. Amar. Amar. Yes, sir, all clear. Just the mute button. Leon. Clear? Clear. Good. Okay, let's wait for, uh, let's have a five minutes break and then we are going to start. Okay. Okay. Okay, class. Welcome back after the break. So let's move on. So we talked about the factors affecting the international trade flows, and in which one part that we talked about that whether the government policies affect the the uh, the flow of funds from one country to another and then we talk about yes so let's just discuss one by one number one restrictions so oh. restrictions on imports first restrictions on imports so how the restrictions are going to be implemented number one taxes so taxes on imports are called tariffs so, so don't get confused if you read in the books that okay, tariffs are going to be included. It means these are the taxes on imports. So taxes on imports, 
when we tax them, it increases the price. So when prices are increased of the foreign goods, then people, they don't buy that one, right? So why the government do that? In order to promote their local, local products or to limit the spending habit or to limit the consumption. So quotas limit the volume of import, right? Okay, you can grant to some, some importers uh, to import goods. <coughs> Sorry. So you can, you know, grant some specific, okay, only government, you know, approved importers can import 25% of the, you know, these units from the last year, right? So you can just also limit the uh, consumption and want to decrease the limit of or decrease the amount of import so that your current account is becoming balanced towards the balancing or becoming positive, right? Number two is subsidies for exporters. Maybe your products are very good, but your companies, they, have, they, they don't have that confidence how to gain the orders from abroad and uh, you know, whether they are, their, their goods are of the quality to be exported or not. So in that way, the government subsidizes them. Okay, we are going to give you tax breaks, tax, tax relief, so that you know, if you export it, you, we, we are going to you know, uh, tax you uh, on, on a smaller scale rather than 45% or 30% or you know, uh, 35%. So when government subsidize health firms to produce at a lower cost than the than their global competitors. So in that way, the governments basically, on the other hand, pushing them to produce more. So what we learned in our economics, when they produce more, total cost start decreasing up to a certain level. Right? So when their costs start decreasing, their their product look more cheaper to the outside world. So in that way, outside world will demand your products more and government is to help you. So you, you know, open your international, uh, you uh, send your, you know, office workers over there, office representatives in the conferences, in the export centers, in expos to introduce your product. In that way, the government basically helps you to export your goods as well. And uh, what is the interest of the government in that case, if, in that scenario? They want to decrease their current account deficit, right? Now, restrictions on privacy. If, the, if there are too much restriction on, on, so not privacy, it's piracy, sorry about that. Piracy, if there is strict policy of, on the piracy issues, so what happened? You have to pay for the, you know, in my laptop, if I pay for $100, $100 to $200 to install a window, right? So in that case, my production start, my country's production start decreasing as compared to that country who don't care about the piracy. So there is every year, the US claim that the China is violating the piracy laws and causes us $2 billion loss. So look at that, who is getting $2 billion? By not respecting the piracy, China's exports are, or China's income increases by $2 billion, right? So here, a government can affect international trade flows by its lack of restrictions on piracy. So lesser the restriction on piracy, there's gonna be more trade flows, right? You can copy the product, you can copy the windows, you, copy, you can copy the software and to increase your product and export them to decrease your production cost. Of course, the environmental restrictions. So there is a the trade-off. If you care about environment, you won't produce high-tech products. And if you care about the 
if you don't care about the uh, environment, then you will your costs are decreasing. You will produce all kind of stuff. You will pollute the environment. You will pollute because you know the clear uh, uh, you know we're providing a clarity or removing the waste uh, harmful waste from the environment is is just extra cost. It will add cost to your product, right? So if environmental restrictions are imposed, then over there. Which country has a less and less restriction on environmental, uh, you know, you know, uh, issues over there? Their costs start decreasing, and those countries who have stricter or higher restrictions on or environmental issues, their costs start rising. So look at that. So international flow funds will move from one country to another country where the environmental restriction is. Lower, so that's why. You know, this is a very hot topic nowadays because West has you know propagated so much amount of like you know the conferences you know stressed a lot of issues through the UN conferences that there is environmental restriction. Otherwise, we are become you know making this planet inhabitat for our future generation because we know that that country who don't respect the environmental restrictions will attract more capital so that's what happening to pakistan now who claims that their carbon emission in the in overall world economy is even less than 1% but there is flooding and all the stuff due to environmental changes so that's why all those countries who contributed in the past so much to the greenhouses so much the environmental destruction now they are Paying the Pakistan a hefty amount of donations, to the loss that they have caused to Pakistani, you know, territory due to the environmental, you know, uh, 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 issues, right? So this is becoming a very hot topic nowadays. Now the labor laws. So countries with more strict labor laws will incur higher expense on labor. So over there, of course, if you have more labor laws, the labor is protected from, you know, if his labor is sick, he is given the wages. If your labor is pregnant, then you he, he uh, th then she will be given the salary. So it increases the cost. So over that country, which has a loose restriction on labor laws will receive more orders from outside because, because their labor costs are decreasing, right? Business laws. So business 